You sit down to type. Maybe to send an important email. Maybe to finish a report. Maybe to write that one thing you've been putting off for days. You press a key. Nothing. Another. Still nothing. Suddenly, your keyboard feels less like a tool and more like a useless piece of plastic sitting in front of you. Before you start pricing a replacement laptop or running to the nearest repair shop, take a breath. This problem is often fixable and you can do it yourself, without special tools or expensive software. The first thing to check is a simple setting that catches a lot of people off guard. On Windows, click the Start menu. Head into Settings, then find Accessibility on the left-hand side if you are on Windows 11, or find Ease of Access if you are using Windows 10. Scroll in the left sidebar until you see Keyboard, and open it. Inside, look for two features, Filter Keys and Sticky Keys. If either is turned on, switch them off. They're designed to help with accessibility needs, but when accidentally enabled, they can make it seem like your keyboard isn't responding properly at all. Once you've switched them off, test your keyboard again. If it's still unresponsive, there's another built-in tool you can try, the on-screen keyboard. Turn it on in that same keyboard settings page. This virtual keyboard will appear on your screen, letting you type using your mouse or touchscreen. It's not meant as a permanent solution, but it's a quick way to keep working and also a way to confirm if the issue is with the physical keyboard itself. Next, open the run command. You can get there by clicking start and typing run, then opening the app. In the box that appears, type regedit and press OK. You're now in the Windows Registry Editor. Be careful here, it's the brain of your system but there's one setting worth checking. Expand the folder labeled HKey Local Machine. Open the System folder, then Current Control Set, then Services. In the list, scroll down to find a folder named I8042PRT. Click it. In the right-hand panel, double-click the entry named Start. Make sure its value data is set to 1. If it's not, change it. Press OK and close the registry editor. Restart your computer, and in many cases, your keys will spring back to life. So why does this issue happen in the first place? Sometimes it's as simple as those accessibility features being triggered by a shortcut key without you realizing it. Other times, it's a temporary glitch in how Windows communicates with the keyboard hardware. That i 842 PRT setting you checked? That controls the driver that connects your keyboard to the system. If that gets changed by a system update, a third-party program, or even a small registry error, it can stop the keys from responding. Of course, hardware failure is also possible. Dirt, dust, or damage can take out specific keys or the entire keyboard. But the majority of the time, the fixes above get things working again without spending a cent. The key is not to panic. Work through the steps. Disable the tricky settings. Test with the on-screen keyboard. Check that registry value. Then restart and see the results. You might be surprised at how quickly your keyboard and your productivity can come back to life.